Hi, welcome to this demo of Oracle Database System Deployment on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. My name is Sanjay Narvekar and I'm a product manager in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team and I will be doing this demo for you today. I have logged in into my Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console and I will navigate to the bare metal VM and database system link under databases and I'll click on create DB system and in the screen I have a choice of selecting the compartment that I wish to deploy the database system in. I will stick to my sandbox one and I can rename this DB system if I want to. I'll go with the default. My region has three availability domains so I can select between one of these availability domains. In uh, certain regions we just have one availability domain so uh, if you are in a region which has only one availability domain please note that uh, you don't have this option of uh, selecting between these three availability domains you'll just have one availability domain and in this demo today i will be deploying a virtual machine db system using the fast provisioning option so i'll click on virtual machine and I can change the shape that I'll be using for the deployment. I'll go with the VM standard 2.2 shape and I'll click on select a shape and my node count will be one and I have a choice of going between standard edition, enterprise edition, high performance or extreme performance enterprise edition packages. I'll select enterprise edition extreme performance package and I will go with the logical volume manager based deployment option which provisions the database in under 15 minutes. From a storage configuration perspective, I can start with 256 gigabytes of storage or I can go all the way up to 8192 gigabytes of storage. I will choose the one which is the least available for me which is 256 and under the total storage it gives me the total storage used by the database once it's deployed I'll need to provide SSH public key here which is needed if I want to SSH into the database system so I've selected one which I already have and I will choose a license type of license included for this demo but if you're a customer looking to bring your own license you will select this option I already have virtual cloud networks in my compartment so I'll select the demo VCN but if I have the VCN in another compartment I can choose that from there as well and for the subnet I will select a private subnet that I have which is a regional subnet but I also have a choice of selecting a subnet from a different compartment if I need it and I can also assign a network security group to control traffic but uh, I will not do that for this demo I'll give a hostname prefix of test DB and let let me show you the advanced options available for me here. I can choose a fault domain if I want for uh, making sure that my database system gets deployed in one of these fault domains. I'll click next and this is where I can change the database name if I want to. Note that the database name cannot be long, uh, longer than 8 characters here. I can select between 18 or 19C for uh, the database system choice and since it's eight, uh, 19C I can optionally provide a pluggable database name I will leave that alone and this is where I provide the password for the sys user Note that you have to follow certain 
password uh, creation rules while specifying the password. I can choose between OLTP or DSS types for the workload. I will stay with OLTP and I will select enable automatic backups and I can choose between 7 to 60 days for my backups. I'll keep it at 7 days and if I want to I can choose one of these options for the backup scheduling which means that the database will be backed up sometime between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. UTC and clicking on advanced options allows me to select a different character set if I want to but I will go with the default then I'll click on create DB system The database provisioning process has now started and this is going to take roughly under 15 minutes uh, which is uh, quite fast and uh, because this is using the LVM based uh, storage option for the DB system. I will pause this video and I'll get back to it once the database has been provisioned and I will just quickly navigate between the various tabs over here on the left. Welcome back. The database system has now been provisioned. As you can see, the status now says it's available here. And I can click on the database name and show you that it has been configured for backups by clicking on this button and uh, the backup retention period is seven days and uh, the backup scheduling time is between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. UTC. I'm going to click on cancel because I don't want it to back up the database right now. And something to note that is as soon as the database gets provisioned, the first automatic backup kicks in and uh, it will be available for you for restore at a later point. So in the case of other functionality here, clicking on patches shows you uh, the patch that is available for you for applying and uh, you would do this by running pre-check first and once that process completes you will go here and click on apply. I want to do that now because uh, the database is backing up. I won't be able to show you this. And clicking on patch history will show you the list of patches that have been applied. And if I click on data guard associations, I will be able to see a peer database in the case of uh, data guard setup is uh, enabled for this database. So that was looking at the details. And I can click on DB connection here to see the connection string for my database and I can add tags if I want to uh, associate it with certain project or uh, business uh, center that's what the tagging functionality is for and I can click on DB systems here and look at the node information here so my VM server name is called testdb and this is the private IP address and this is the fault domain which we selected when uh, the database was provisioned. Notice that there is no public IP address. So if I have to access this particular database server IP using SSH, I'll have to ensure that there is a bastion server which I can connect to first and then I can access this database or optionally if I have a VPN connection or fast connect from my on-premises environment to OCI I will be also be able to access this but I won't be able to access this over the public internet without first connecting to a bastion server and Clicking on patches here shows me that there are no patches available for the DB system. And patch history is obviously 
empty because I haven't applied any patches here. I can add additional SSH keys here by pasting the private SSH key here and clicking on add SSH key. And if I wish to move this resource from this compartment to another, I can select the target compartment here and click on move resource. Note that the person performing this action needs to have the access to the target compartment otherwise they won't be able to uh, move this resource to the target compartment and th this is a vm shape so i can scale storage up and in the case of uh, the logical volume manager based uh, database systems i can scale up a 256 gig database up to 2560 gigabytes still like 10 times the size i won't do that right now so i'll click on cancel and uh, this completes this demonstration and thank you for watching